Hello and welcome to MIP TV. I'm um, with ever the the well read and the polymathic Mr. Bob Cook. And um, Bob's going to share one of his favourite books, the one I suspect that some people um, will have heard of. It's by Muriel James and it's called Born to Win. So, what's this book about, Bob? Well, it's written by two elders of the transaction analysis movement, um, Born to Win by Muriel James and Dorothy Youngwood. And as I was saying to you off air, it was one of the first real TA books that I wrote and, uh, sorry, not wrote, read, which I had wrote it, but anyway, which I read. Uh, uh, and what I liked it particularly is it's very easy to read. It's a paperback, for example, and it's very easy to read. And what particularly makes it stands out is the mix of gestalt techniques that are explained in this book. Um, so two reasons I like it. One is very accessible. Secondly, which is my favourite reason for liking it, is mixes gestalt techniques with transaction analysis concepts. So, for example, uh, many people would think that the uh, two-chair technique uh, comes from gestalt psychotherapy, which it does in some ways, though we could link it back to Marino, uh, who was the originator of you know, drama therapy. But uh, in this book, um, Dorothy Youngwood, who's the gestaltist per se, even though she knows TA, um, talks about how to use the two-chair technique and talks about gestalt experiments to use to help the um, person or the reader um, develop their own inner child, to get in touch with their early history and to um, really talk about establishing that compass compassionate narrative in search of the child ego state. Yeah, from a gestalt it, perspective. It sounds, it sounds like there's some integration going on here, Bob. Yeah, way back, because it was written in the middle, middle of the 1970s. So it's an early book. So before the um, real search or movement towards integration in psychotherapy, um, I think the gestalt experiments in the book were all aimed or focused on getting to the inner child, mm. or the child ego state in TA terms. Yeah. Um, it's called Born to Win. What, what's the um, significance of the title? Oh, it comes from the idea of scripts. Going back to scripts again, and we've done many videos, yeah, and in many of them we've talked about the concept of scripts. You know, Eric Burns' marvellous book, uh, What You Say After Say Hello, which is his first book on scripts, and the idea of a script that we design a life plan early in history, which becomes the template for our... Um, our life in many ways. But Eric Byrne talked about winners' scripts and losers' scripts. Uh, Steiner, who was a disciple of Byrne, talked about harmatic scripts, mindless scripts, loveless scripts. Eric Byrne himself talked about uh, Greek, he looked at the parallel to the idea of the Greek ideas of um, almost script and uh, different types of scripts, but he did come up with the idea of winner scripts and loser scripts and i think the title is that we are born from the beginning as a you know a blank blank screen if you mm. like or an early sponge and that with the right fertile ground we can develop a script for success right so it's interesting there's just there's some a little bit of behaviorism in there for the blank slate the tabala rasa yeah, as uh, as as the behaviourists um, are fond to, to call it, <laughs> yeah. Um, then yeah, there's there's it's interesting, isn't it? How these all these ideas kind of seem to come from the same roots. They just came. Just, the, the tree just is very broad, isn't it? Basically, yeah. In the humanistic tradition, of course, you know, um, we, we we certainly burn believe that we burn okay. You know that whole yeah yeah. I'm okay, or you're, yeah, you're yeah. okay. Uh, and he believed that it was the uh, environment around or the significant others that turned people into frogs or the kids into frogs. Yeah, yeah. And for the truth where therapy, you can put a new script on the board, you know, on the world, and you can actually become prince or princess rather than the, keeping to the script which was imposed on you, where which turned you into frogs. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we can actually put a new life plan on you know a new script on the road we can start winning if we've given up that script uh but but uh, i think muriel james believed we were all born with the potential 
for success. Mm. And our birthright is actualization and to live our life as winners and not to live our life as frogs. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting idea, isn't it? Because that. There's a little link to humanism and people like Maslow and Rogers and lack of needs and you know you yeah the conditions and yeah I mean uh, I mean from your world I mean I know you you know a lot about Carl Rogers he he had uh, ideas around script and and life plan and the well he called you know, they were called conditions of worth and trajected values mm, you mm. know. But but one of the interesting things was around the same time, and it's around the same time Byrne was around and all these people, was um, the Human Potential Movement, which uh, I think one of the people was Aldous Huxley, who wrote Brave New oh. World and Doors of Perception. Yeah. And, and this, this kind of um, idea that humans had potential, which kind of links into the book, isn't it? Born to Win. Yeah, yeah. That's, was, that's why we've got that title. And... I'm a great believer in this. I mean, as a therapist, really from the beginning, I'm always looking for the potential for growth, the mm. potential for winning, the potential for success, the potential for taking ownership of your own destiny. Mm. And I'm always, always looking for that potential and helping the, the client often get in touch with the part of themselves they've forgotten. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's a, By just, remit. To shine a light into the other areas that maybe the the hidden areas that maybe they've they're not aware of to open that up, open yeah. the other rooms of the house up. Yeah, so they can become the winners they were born to be. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like a fascinating book. It's a book I've heard of, born to win. It comes up quite a lot um, when when I look through. Um, or I'm searching for, for psychotherapy books. Um, yeah. And in terms of in terms of students, you know. Yeah. Yeah, why yeah, would you? Why would you think it would be important for a student maybe to visit this particular yeah. text? One of the reasons why I wanted to bring this into this this video really is that when I look back at my career and how many of the introduction to TA courses I've done or the 101 courses I've done, which is the basic introduction, and I ask people, uh, these are people who who are interested in transaction analysis interested in psychotherapy for the first time and come on on this two-day workshop at the Manchester Institute and I asked them, what have you read already in TA? Mm. Well, why have you come? And you know, Roy, this particular book's title comes up over and over and over again and people said, you know, well, some of the first books I ever read was Born to Win or I'm okay, you're okay, yeah. but Born to Win is such a uh, a, a popular book that people seem to really take to their heart and I believe it's because it's very accessible and has many exercises after each chapter where people can start looking at how to develop themselves. Oh, so it's, a, it's almost like a kind of a self-help book. Yeah, it definitely was. And, uh, and, on the other, and the other, going with the other question was the same thing. Um, it also, in the first three or four chapters, talks about the basic concepts of TA in a very accessible way. So students who want to learn TA in a very accessible way, uh, right at the beginning of their first year, if you like, uh, I, I would recommend this book because of its um, easeability, if you like, to read. Yeah. So a very easy book for new students of the of the discipline, Pe people who are just reading round maybe in the first the first semester yeah. of the training. Yeah. So yeah, so an accessible book, a one that's really readily available, isn't it? So the book we reviewed today is Born to Win by Muriel James. We're going to put our link um, in the bottom, in right. the title bar, so people can click on it and um, you can inspect it. As always, Bob doesn't do this for money. He's not being sponsored by the book company. He just does it to share his love of literature. And at the end of the video, we'll just put a little title window in with a picture of it so you can identify it. So as always, Bob Cook, thank you very much. Thank you, Roy.